Hello everyone and welcome back to our new video tutorial of WooCommerce Delivery Boy application backend configuration. Hello everyone and welcome back to our new video tutorial of WooCommerce Delivery Boy application backend configuration. In the previous video, we have shown you the front end of this application and the workflow of the app like how the admin can view the order and assign that order to a particular delivery boy, how that delivery boy can proceed the order by delivering it to the customer using this application. And in today's video, we're going to show you the backend admin panel, how the admin can do the configuration from the backend and how the admin can view the order and assign that order to a particular delivery boy and how the admin can add a new delivery boy to the panel from the backend. But before I proceed further, kindly do subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for further updates from our end. And if you do like the video, kindly give it a thumbs up. So now, before moving ahead, let me show you how the customer can place an order. So here, as you can see, I'm on the login page, kindly note, for placing an order, you need to be registered or log in yourself in the panel. So here, I'm going to log in myself by using the credentials which are given to me for this demo. I'll click on login. Here, as you can see, the dashboard. If you want to search your product, you can search your product from here. Or if you want to go to shop, you can click on shop. And all the products will be appear which are available. So from here, you can see all the products are there. Whichever product you want to order, you can click on that particular product. For example, I'm clicking on this product. Here, you're going to see the details of this product, like the pricing, quantity, description. Now, we're going to add this product to cart. Once we click on the cart, we have to click on view cart. From here, you have to proceed to check out. Now, check the billing details, your order details, and then place the order. Once you place the order, there will be a pop-up that your order has been received. If you want to check the details, you can scroll down and check the details of your product. So here, the product has been placed. Now, let me show you the backend admin panel. Here is the admin panel. As you can see, I have already having the credentials for this demo. We're going to log in from these credentials. Once you logged in, the dashboard will appear. So, on the left hand side panel, you can see the option is there WooCommerce Delivery Boy app. There, you can go to orders first. Here, you can see all the orders which have been assigned. This order we have placed. Click on the order. Here you will going to see all the details related to the order, like billing address, shipping. Everything is mentioned on this page. On the right hand side, you can see the option is there, delivery boy. You can click on this option and you can assign this product to a particular delivery boy by clicking on the name and then you have to click on update. Once you click on the update, the product will be assigned to John Doe. Now, kindly note, once the order has been assigned by the admin to a particular delivery boy, at the same time, the customer will going to receive an OTP which he needs to give to the delivery boy at the time of the delivery boy is placing the order for the verification purpose. So let me show you the customer end that how he will going to receive the OTP. We'll refresh this page. Scrolling down, you can see this delivery OTP is there. This one time password the customer need to give to delivery boy once taking the product from the delivery boy so that the ver verification purpose can proceed. Let me show you the admin panel again. So like this, the admin can assign the order to the delivery boy. And once the order has been assigned to the delivery boy, 
the delivery boy will also give, receive a push notification on the application for that you can see the last video in that video we have shown the push notification have been received by the delivery boy to which the delivery boy can accept or reject once he accept the order and then he can proceed for the pickup and then deliver to the customer so now let me show you the other options as well on the left hand side option you can see in the woocommerce delivery boy the first option is dashboard click on the dashboard in the dashboard option you will going to see the order graph weekly monthly and yearly as well the sales graph weekly monthly and yearly today orders the orders which have been placed today will appear here itself the delivery location from where the order will pick up and then delivered the next option is boys here you can see the boys who have registered themselves as a delivery boy in the application if you want to delete the boys in bulk you can select the delivery boys and then click on bulk action and then apply if you want to add a new delivery boy you can click on the add new option once you click on the add new option this page will appear here you have to enter the username email first name last name mobile number password longitude latitude address vehicle type vehicle number status disable or enable now click on the create delivery boy the boy will going to register himself on this application next option is ratings here you'll going to manage the ratings given by the customer or the ratings which are available will appear here itself the next option is orders in the orders you're going to see all the orders which have been placed by the customer if you want to filter by delivery boy you can also filter by using this filter option if you want to see the particular delivery boy's order you can click on that particular delivery boy's name and then can apply the filter and can see how many orders have been assigned to that particular delivery boy and if you want to search any order you can also search that order from here itself the next option is configuration in the configuration option you can see the three options are there long longitude latitude and the address so here you have to enter the longitude latitude and the address and then click on update setting so that the address can be traced easily the next option is advance click on the advance here you have to enter the username password the fcm notification api key google map api key delivery range in kilometers the allowed shipping method which you want to show to the customer once he places the order and have to choose the option of shipping methods so once you do all these changes you have to click on save changes from here and the changes which you have done will going to appear on the front end of this application so that was much about this application from my end and still if you have any query any doubt or suggestions you can reach back to us at support@webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com and lastly thanks for watching the video have a good day ahead